and we back again live from the kitchen i'm gonna be showing y'all how to make ground meat without using meat we're just gonna use pecans vegetables you know what just got on the tap and i'm about to show y'all how to do this come on for one you're gonna need you a food processor and you're gonna need you a crock pot all right now let's get into our ingredients all right we're gonna use an orange pepper we got us a green pepper we got us some carrots we're not gonna use the whole bag but we need the carrots all right you need your white onion but we only gonna use half of that white onion all right now here you can see we got some pecans i took a whole bag of pecans put them in this container filled it up with water and you let it sit in the fridge overnight because you want these to be nice and, and moisturized like you done rub some some jargons on them all right so let the pecans do their thing overnight you drain it now here we got us some vegan butter and you're gonna need you some of this right here make sure i pronounce it right better than bullion if that's how you say it I'm not whatever man i'm a youtuber i ain't a personal trainer that's about it so you're gonna find this usually in your soup out that's where you'll find this at in the store and this is the season with vegetable base you want that one you can use the just egg i just start messing with this but you don't need it it's not necessary and then whatever your seasonings are so today we're gonna use some of these here shout out to trader joe's we got us some 21 salute as you can see let's flip it around so we got like onion black pepper a little bit of that in it cayenne pepper parsley so that's kind of our main things main ingredients in it and this right here if you got a trader joe's near you go grab you some of this this umami shout out to my mama because she got us hip to this this is good like if you want to make mushrooms or things like that season them air fry them however you want to do it but yeah we're going to use some of that and you already know man you grew up in a black household Lowry's, we mess with the Lowry's. I'm gonna throw a little Italian seasoning in there too. So you can season it with however you usually season your meat. This is just an example of how I'm doing it. All right, let's get into it. All right, so this food processor ain't that big, so I'm gonna split this into two. But don't worry, I'm gonna walk y'all through it. Yeah, wash my hands. I ain't one of them people. I'm a, I'm real OCD about stuff like that. So we're gonna take half the pecans, we're gonna put them in here, and then. Let's start with this onion. We only gonna use half of this white onion, all right? Now bear with me if my eyes start watering. So you chop your onion up, of course. We we'll stash this for now. And it don't really matter how much you cut it up because the food processor is gonna, you know, it's gonna do its job. But we're gonna chop this up a little bit. Yeah, I know my mama get on me. She always tell me, you cutting wrong, you gotta cut like this, this and that. But she ain't here right now, she just gonna have to watch this later. So we're gonna take half of the half of the onion, put in the food process of the rest and go in the second batch. There, go like that. All right, and bear with me, I got the noodles on the stove and the vent is going on, but I'm sure y'all can still hear me. So now we on to our peppers. Chop these things up right quick. You get your green pepper and the orange one. I'm not sure if it really matter which one you use, but this is the ingredients I was given. So I'll just kind of roll with it and then I'm gonna kind of tweak it. You could tweak it too, kind of tweak it to your own liking, your own taste. Do what you gotta do, so it's all good. Get these together. I'm not no cook or nothing, but once I like backstory, when I went vegan, this is during COVID, I didn't know what I was doing. I was watching a little documentary on Netflix called Game Changer and it was about like athletes and people like that that were getting in the best shape of their life by cutting out meat. Now people always ask, well how you get protein if you don't, you don't eat meat? And this is what I tell people. But you ever seen a gorilla before? What a gorilla look like? A gorilla probably one of the most muscular animals that we know of to this day, but they don't eat meat. They all muscular, right? And think about a deer. You hit a deer, what's gonna happen to your car? Chances are your car gonna be total. But a deer don't eat meat, it's all muscle. So, muscle doesn't necessarily come from, or protein, should I say, don't necessarily come from eating animals. It come from what the animal eat and you get what's left over of that. So you getting the hand-me-down of all the nutrients they get from plants. So yes, you can get muscular but not eating meat. That's just a little backstory. So anyway, that's what Game Changer was talking about. So we'll split half of this, put that in there. 
half our green onions. Let's go in here. Anyways, back on how I ended up going vegan. So yeah, I checked out this documentary on Netflix. And I'm like, all right, I'm about to try this thing because it was talking about people's blood pressure, all type of stuff. And then if you tapped into like Dr. Sabi, you know how he talk about a lot of the foods that's good for you and not good for you. And this levels to you, to this whole thing. You don't just dive in and go all the way vegan. Like I started off easing into it. Like during the week, I would eat more vegan. And on the weekends, I would eat, you know, my usual stuff. Because I was not, as long as I've been working out, I ain't never been into the whole healthy thing. Like, I'm talking about eating ribs, chicken wings, macaroni and cheese, leftovers for breakfast. Like, that was my vibe. I didn't care. Anyway, I'm like, I want to get more healthy. So, boom. I dived into the whole vegan thing. And when I tell y'all, I had no clue what I was doing at all. Like, I'm just going to the store and anything I seen that was, like, vegan... And at this time, this like 2020, it wasn't that popular yet, so it wasn't a lot of plant-based choices as much as it was now. I'm trying all that little processed stuff because it felt like I was making a step forward, which was cool. But I didn't, some of the stuff was kind of hit and miss. And vegan food is just like regular food. Like, it's certain foods you eat, not the vegan stuff, your everyday foods. You might eat and be like, oh, this is good. And then other food, you're like, man, this is garbage. So I had to go through that with a lot of the vegan food. And after a while... I'm like, I already was cooking by myself. I'm about to figure out how to just convert a lot of the foods I eat over to like a vegan version of it. Making pastas, little stuff like that. So that's kind of how that went. So first time I uh, I went vegan, actually, guess how long it lasted me? I work shift. I went to Kroger that Sunday night. Like, oh, I'm about to get on this healthy kick. Man, I get to work. I'm eat. I ain't know what to eat. I ate a salad. By the time I got off work, I'm right back at Kroger, man. Like, I quit. So, that lasted for a day. Then the next time I went vegan, maybe lasted, I don't know. Let's see. Probably about three or four months. About three months. And I felt good. My body felt a big change. Get back to the story. You've also used a tablespoon of this. I would suggest that the first time. But once you start cooking and knowing what you're doing, kind of, you just eyeball. So, I'm going to just kind of take about that much. No, I'm about to cut this thing in half. About that much in there. And then you're going to take the same thing with this. It's supposed to be a tablespoon. And this is in your whole batch. It'll be two tablespoons. But since I had to split this in half, it's going to be one and one. On the eyeball side. So drop that in there. Oh, one thing I did forget. The carrots. Carrots, I'm eventually about to cut this out too because this is another thing that's man-made. A lot of these foods that we eat are man-made and you don't even know it. Like things like broccoli, carrots, they are hybrid foods. And little by little, like you don't have to dive into this whole vegan thing, but you know, kind of cross little stuff off as you get better at it. So a little bit of carrots there. Hopefully I don't get them everywhere. Yeah, but back to my story. I did the vegan thing about three, four months, and I felt good. I was more energized. I didn't need naps throughout the day like I used to. Like, And I trimmed down a whole lot. Like, I was kind of bulky, and I went from bulky to real lean. And I was still figuring out what to eat. And after a while, I started figuring out different foods. Like, all right, I can cook this and make a substitute for that. And eventually... It got addicting because once you start to feel good, you don't want to go back to feeling how you used to feel. All sluggish and all that. Like, you want to continue to feel how you're feeling. So, there's nothing wrong with that. So, that's kind of how I got on my whole journey of this vegan thing. It ain't for everybody. And my advice to people, don't just try to dive into it because you'll get discouraged. Like, ease into it. Try some things here and there. If you want to do a couple days a week, eat healthy or, you know during the weekdays whatever work for you do it like that so as you see pecans got my peppers got my carrots got my butter got this right there so y'all be in the comments going in on me and yeah we're gonna do it like that you can add this is optional i'm gonna add a little bit just to see drop a little in there and so when you mix this up you don't want to get it to where it's like uh soupy you know you just want to kind of chop it up a little bit and where it's still a little chunky that's how you want to make this all right 
So we'll start off on low. And what I do halfway through, I take it, kind of mix it up a little. Everything that's up on the walls, get that down in there. I know I'm making a mess everywhere. I'm going to clean it up. All right, this is batch one. Because you don't want the pecans to still be kind of crunchy, even though we let, them, uh, we let them marinate a little bit in the water overnight. I might have to, I might season that water when I let it marinate. That don't sound too bad. Y'all see on the next video. Give it one more spin. Cool, cool. We getting somewhere. Now that's how it's going to look starting off once you done blended everything. Cool, the fan went off. Come over here in your crock pot. We're going to stir that up, all right? All right, bet. We in the crock pot now. This kind of the look you want to go for everything is chopped up or mashed up. Not too mashed, but it's not, you know, still choppy to where it's the pecans, you know, haven't got the, you broken down into a, to a, a smooth texture, you know what I mean? This is what we're going to do next. We season it up, keep the crock pot on hot, and every, I say, five, ten minutes, stir it occasionally. Do that for an hour, and then we'll turn the crock pot down. I'll let mine cook overnight, you know, give it seven, eight hours, let it do its thing. And it, all right, now what I did was hit it with some seasoning. I uh, went with the Lari's, and then I followed with the 21 Salute. Shout out to Trader Joe's. Y'all should be sponsoring me, I'm telling you. I'm putting people on the map. I call this the 21 Savage, but this right here is good stuff. And I double back with the umami, give it the, the mushroom taste to it. And I finished with Italian seasoning. And what I did was season it one time, stirred it up and then I season with half as much. So however you season your, your ground meat or ground turkey, whatever it is you cook, that's how you would season this. Probably throw a little extra on it just cause you know, you start from scratch with all these ingredients, but it'll be all right regardless. I'll keep y'all updated. You can see it still has a different color to it, but when we done with this, it's gonna look like some ground meat, all right? And this is just two hours in so far. That's your ground meat. We're gonna let this do its thing overnight, but yeah, that's all you gotta do.